Do you want to join engineering? Are you confused about which branch to choose? Want to know more about the new courses? Then watch the video till the end. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Abhi and I'm back with an awesome video. In this video, let's learn about the new courses that are introduced in the computer science and engineering stream. Stay with me till the end so that I'll let you know which one to pick. So without any further delay, let's deep dive into it. First things first, let's get a brief idea about the courses that are introduced recently in the computer science stream. They are CSM which is about artificial intelligence and machine learning. The second one is CSD which is about data science. The third one is CSB which is business system. The fourth one is CSC. This field belongs to cyber security. The fifth one is CSO which talks about IoT and other courses like AI. AID and AIM. So let's first understand why are these courses actually introduced. Basically, if you observe the list, you can find that almost all of the courses that are introduced are of latest technology. Or we can also say that it is the future. For example, let us take AIM, which means Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. This is the future, right? Nowadays, if you take the chat GPT, it is totally dependent on the Artificial Intelligence. By the way, if you want to know more about ChatGPT, I have a dedicated short video made on it. You can find the link of the video in the description below. With these new courses, students can upgrade their knowledge with the latest technologies and start applying for the top MNCs for the latest technology jobs. If you want to know more about the top MNCs, you can find the playlist right up here or also in the description below. There, I have made a dedicated video on each and every MNC and you can watch that after this video. Next, if we see the syllabus, of all these new courses introduced, it is not having a major difference from the computer science and engineering stream. First, let's see what is the syllabus of the computer science and engineering stream which is CSE. Then I am going to tell you what are the minor differences with the new courses. In the first year, first semester, we have the following subjects. Matrices and Calculus, Engineering Chemistry, Programming for Problem Solving, Basic Electrical Engineering, Computer Aided Engineering Graphics, Elements of Computer Science and Engineering, Engineering Chemistry Lab, Programming for Problem Solving Laboratory, Basic Electrical Engineering Lab. And in the first year, second semester, we have Ordinary Differential Equations and Vector Calculus, Applied Physics, Engineering Workshop, English for Skill Enhancement, electronic devices and circuits, Python programming lab, applied physics lab, English language and communication skills lab, IT workshop, environment science. These are the subjects that are covered in the first year of your engineering. Then if you get into the second year, in the first semester we have the following subjects. Digital electronics, data structures, computer oriented statistical methods, computer organization and architecture, object oriented programming through Java, data structures lab, object oriented programming through Java lab, data visualization, R programming or Power BI, gender sensitization lab and in the second semester we have discrete mathematics, business economics and financial analysis, operating systems, database management systems, software engineering, operating systems lab, database management systems lab, real time research project or societal related project, Node.js or React.js or Django. Constitution of India. These are the topics that are covered in the first two years of your engineering. If you have come this far and you're finding this video very informative, then drop us a like down below. Then if you get into the third year of engineering, these are the following subjects. In the first semester, we have the subjects like design and analysis of algorithms, computer networks, DevOps, Professional Elective 1, Professional Elective 2, Computer Networks Lab, DevOps Lab, Advanced Engineering Communication Skills Lab, UI Design, Influtter, Intellectual Property Rights. And in the second semester, we have Machine Learning, Formal Languages and Automata Theory, Artificial Intelligence, Professional Elective 3, Open Elective 1, Machine Learning Lab, Artificial Intelligence Lab, Professional Elective 3 Lab, Industrial Oriented Mini Project or Internship or Skill Development Course which is on Big Data, Spark, Environmental Science. If we get into the final year of the engineering stream in the Computer Science and Engineering, then in the first semester, we have the following subjects like Cryptography and Network Security, Compiler Design, Professional Elective 4, Professional Elective 5, Open Elective 2, Cryptography and Network Security Lab, Compiler Design Lab, Project Stage 1. 
and in the second semester of your final year that is 4-2 we have the following subjects like organizational behavior professional elective 6 open elective 3 project stage 2 including seminar you might have observed that when i was saying the third year and fourth year subjects there were few subjects like professional electives and open electives i know you might be confused what are these professional electives and the open electives these are nothing but for every professional elective and a open elective there are few subjects from which the candidate can choose for himself whichever subject the candidate wants to take these are the subjects in your computer science and engineering stream for the four years of your engineering let's now compare the new courses with the csc in the first two years of your engineering the new courses will have the same syllabus as in the csc but you can find minor differences in the last two years in the last two years of your engineering we can find the specialized subjects in their respective streams for example in the aid course that is the artificial intelligence and data science course we can find subjects like introduction to data science and some labs related to the data science similarly for csc C, which is cyber security course we can find topics related to cyber security and cyber crime investigations in CSO we can find the subjects related to IOT which is nothing but internet of things so you might be asking which course should I take come on let's answer that in simple words if you're interested in learning a particular specialization then you can go with that course for example if you're interested in learning the artificial intelligence and machine learning topic then you can opt for AID, AIM and CSM courses. Or else if you are interested in learning the data science related topics, then you can opt for the CSD or AID courses. If you are not interested for going with a particular specialization, then you can go with the regular CSC course. I hope you got a clear idea about the syllabus in the computer science stream in the engineering. If you still have any queries, just comment down below and I will be definitely answering your questions. If you found this video informative, give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends we have got so much amazing content coming your way if you haven't already subscribed to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so that you'll not miss my further uploads and that's it from me today see you next time cheers